Let's start by looking at the histogram for this image. As you can see, the edge of the histogram comes right up to the edge of the blacks, but nothing is being clipped. So that means nothing here is 100% completely black. So we may want to make a little bit of adjustment there. Also, on the highlight side of the image, you can see that there are some parts of the image that are slightly overexposed here and here. So we're going to work with our sliders down here to try to make adjustments to this. Now there are three basic ways that we could go about setting the white point and the black point. And the first one would be just going by, you know, season to taste sort of thing. Um, using the sliders to try to figure out what looks best for the image you're working with. And that's how I tend to do it most of the time. So let's take the black point and I'll drag it down. And I'm looking at the blacks in the photo, trying to figure out if I have anything that's true black. Obviously, you don't want to go too far where everything is completely crushed and you're starting to lose details. And you don't want to go too late, too light, where it looks like the image doesn't have um, enough contrast. So this can take some practice. Uh, getting used to finding the right spot. So there are other ways that can, you know, sort of help you to get there. One way is by using the Alt button when you're clicking on the little uh, slider. So if I press Alt and click on the slider here, you can see when it's at zero, now there's nothing in the black region showing. There's nothing true black right now. As I move to the left, now you can see that there are certain things that now are black. They would be clipping on the histogram. Now generally we don't want anything to be clipping, but since we do want something in the image to be black, we, we will accept a little bit of clipping here. So somewhere in this neighborhood where we're just starting to get things black would be about right. And we can do the same thing for the white point. Here you can see we do have some overexposure. And so if I press down Alt and click on the white point, those are the white parts of the image. And if I drag to the left, you can see that it's also affected by the highlights. Because even if I go all the way to the left, it's still not getting rid of you know, those blown highlights. So I'm going to come back to zero for a minute because this seems to be more affected by the highlights. So I'm going to come down and bring it down so the highlights are pretty much gone. Then I'll check the whites again. Um, and I'll just take that in a little bit. Um, if you wanted to, you could have maybe just a slight fine, just where it's just peeking in. That way there is something white in the image. And now our histogram on the white and black points are right about at the right place. But let me show you a third method. Um, let me reset all of these. If you want to reset any slider, you can just double click on the slider and it will return everything to zero. Now, if I hold down the shift key when I double click on the slider, it should automatically find the right spot according to Lightroom anyway. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and double click on highlights and you can see here it automatically bumped it over to minus 16. Um, that was not enough to get rid of the overexposure, but that's what it thinks is right. So I'll try it with the whites. And that went down to minus 100, and it still did not get rid of the overexposure. So here's the case where that did not work out perfectly. Lightroom didn't quite know what to do to get rid of the overexposure. But let's try it with the blacks. Just hold down Shift, double-click on the blacks and that went down to minus 21. So you have to remember when Lightroom's trying to figure this out, it's looking at the whole image. So if there are certain areas of the image that are more important than others, you could try and crop before you did this move. So let me reset everything and see if that makes a difference. So of course when we crop in Lightroom it's temporary. It doesn't really uh, you know, it doesn't really mean much. We can reset it quite easily. So I'll pick this central area where we have lots of highlights and some blacks. Um, and then I'll just repeat the steps. Uh, 
come back to the highlights, shift click, double click on it, and the whites, and the blacks. And I think I'm getting similar results as I was getting before. And I'm going to come back to the crop tool and I'll just reset the crop. And now those adjustments that we made will be applied to the whole image, not just the part that we selected. All right, so it's a little bit better when we, you know, zoomed in on the important parts, but it's still not the best. I prefer a combination of using uh, the Alt and the slider and my own personal taste. I find that that is the best way to get the right matching um, white and black points for my images. But you should give it a try yourself and see what works for you. Again, this has been Gary D. Tonicourt for more than a snapshot.com.